Uh, my name is Moses Powell. I've been studying uh, jiu-jitsu for the last 20 years. I'm the master for Rinder Visitation. Mm -hmm. And at this particular time, I'm a senior master in the art of jiu-jitsu te and jiu-jitsu ryu. Dot radio dot net presents to you some of the most deadly jiu-jitsu masters in the world. Trained in the vicious urban inner city street combat system of Sanukas Ru Jiu Jitsu, this art was created by the legendary Dr. Moses Powell, the father of American contemporary Jiu Jitsu and the greatest martial artist of the 20th century. This network brings together four radio shows four nights a week, starting with Tuesday nights at 9 p.m. Each one teach one, with the Pia Master himself, Grand Master Urban Muhammad, and his protege, Professor Terence Hale. Wednesday nights at 9 p.m. Modern Combat Masters, hosted by the inheritor of GM Billy Davis Jiu Jitsu, guru of his own Filipino system, and Sanukas Master, Grand Master Daryl Sargent, and his co host, Sifu Rosita de Jesus. Thursday nights at 9 p.m. is Professor Tom Curry's radio talk show. A Kenpo master and professor of Sanukas Ru, 20 years law enforcement, senior tactical training instructor for intelligence retired, and author of the official Sanukas Ru Jiu Jitsu testing and training curriculum. And Friday nights at 8 p.m. is Making the Connection, hosted by the president of DocRadio.net. Grandmaster in the art of Sanukas Ru and Soke of Kuroshi Kaikan martial arts system, and president of the family of Sanukas organization, Soki Haisan Kalik, and his co host, Shihan Farouk Gibbs. All of these shows can be linked to online by typing in docradio.net or listening live at the scheduled time by dialing 646 716 68. DocRadio.net is also proud to present DocMagazine.net, the world's largest martial art magazine dedicated to Dr. Moses Powell, Sanukas Ru Eye to Eye Jiu Jitsu, Urban Tactical Street Self Defense, and Streetology. Please join our Facebook group by typing in DOCRadio.net and follow us on Twitter by typing DOCRadio.net. Thank you for your support, and in the words of Doc, eye to eye, heart to heart, to the wall and back, us. Blog Talk Radio. This is Sultan Shabazz. You're tuning into DocRadio.net. Uh, the show tonight is the integrity of Sanukas Rule of the River that never ran dry with your host, and Chief Professor Yehuda Shim Yehuda Prince and his co-host Professor Yusuf Rachman. Uh, professor, is Grandmaster you on the line? Uh, I, I, uh, I Grandmaster, he's gonna be a little late. He's he's running a little late. Okay, okay. So how how so how 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 how's your week been, Professor? Uh, it's been it's been all right. I see the I see the the, the website is uh up and running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like I was saying, you know, the the website right now is uh, it, it's up and running. People, they're definitely you can tune into Doctor dot net. But uh, we're we're not officially um, uh, we're not going to officially launch it until August first. But it's just up for testing, and uh, there's some things we have to do. We have to see it in a live format, you know, before we really launch it. But, but yeah, but 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 in terms of a soft launch, it is it is up yeah, and running. Yeah, because uh, Grandmaster was saying that he was, he wanted to, he was trying to put a comment on there, and it was saying mm -hmm. that you had to be a member first or something. Right, he would ha he would have to join the site. He just anyone can join the site. It's free to join the site. You just have to the same way how you would join Facebook. You would just have to join that site. Oh, okay. Just yeah, just create a just create a membership account on the site. Yeah. Um, I think uh, everything is great. I think the I think the grandmaster just logged in. Let me see. Grandmaster, is this you? Okay, this is not him yet. Yeah, Professor, everything is good. You know, uh, you know, August sixth. I think it's either yeah, August sixth. I think August sixth is uh, will be the will be a year. Will be a year that we've been on the air. Uh huh. Yes, I want to 
you know, we've been we've been holding it down, man. We've been holding yeah, it down for one year. Yeah, you've been doing a good job, Fukan. You know, and uh, I want to say, and, and I want to say, everything comes back full circle because here it is. You you have a show. You're one of the major channels, one of the major major components. Of the Doctor Network, I mean, you just—I mean, you just all the hats, all the the top words and whatever I could think of. You're part of that history, but you was also the very first interview that was given to Doc Radio. Isn't that something? Right. <laughs> yeah. Hey, remember almost a year ago when, when I when I when I reached out to you? Did yeah, you ever, because did it, you was, ever... it was first. It was your teacher did the interview, then it was me. Right, 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 right. With the right, right, exactly. It was, it was, it was, it was. Uh, Sihan Salvadin. Then it was you. That's right. But in terms of the official formal interview, it was definitely you. So, right. uh, but, 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 but from the time that we did that interview to now, did you ever see all of this? Well, you know, being truthful, um, this was what what I would really re envision when we first hooked into you, right? But, you know, right. every time that we try to do something, you know, uh, there's always there's always a problem. But that's what we envision because, you know, if it, 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 Moses Powell and Lucas Rule is going to survive, then, you know, those of us that was touched by him, we're the ones that are going to have to lay the groundwork for this to continue to exist. Right. Right. You know? If we don't do it, those of us that that, 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 that train with him, that want to met with him, if we don't put, uh, project this intellectual creation, then who's going to do it? Yeah. Who has the world for all to the school project this intellectual creation? And if it weren't for this intellectual creation, it wouldn't be none of us. That's right. That's none right. None of us. All right, call anybody you want to call. If it wasn't for... The 50 years that he put into into this this into education, there wouldn't be nobody else. That's right. He started at 14 years old. He died at 64. That's 50 years he put through the one thing. Mm. You know, I do you hear about people talking about you know the unite the the the, the unite the Snooping Group family. What unites the family is the intellectual creation. The more we, the more we uh, uh, adverse ourselves, the more we identify the intellectual creation, then the, the more united we are. We united in one thing, which is this intellectual creation. Yeah, 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 definitely, definitely. Uh, Professor, let me uh, let me see if the if the Grandmaster has joined us. Uh, uh, hold on. Chief Professor, you're on the heart to heart, sir. Okay, we got the Grandmaster. All right now, 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 now we can rock and roll. Go for now it. Let me, let me, let me. I'll pick up after after you. Go ahead. Let's see what we got. Uh, okay, so Professor, so as you were saying, uh, sir, uh, continue. Uh, you know, I, you know, um. I hear a lot of people talking about the unity of the Snooker Group family, uh, the right. unity of the, the, the jiu-jitsu, the unity of the martial arts. And, you know, what, uh, uh, it seems like we forget that what what is it that unites us? Yes, sir. What is it that unites us? And ain't that the New Year's party? They ain't that the nearest uh, 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 picnic? What is it that unites us? What unites us is an intellectual creation. Well, I wanna I wanna just say this, you know, you know, Doc Radio is the oldest, and it's the it's to me it's the most genuine, uh, it's the most genuine um, uh, entity out there that represents unity, you know, and don't and don't take my word for it, just check the archives, check the archives, listen to all the archives on Doc Radio. And listen to, you know, when was the first time you heard the word unity? Look at the dates. Look at the dates, and the proof is in the pudding. But, Professor, what I want to do is I want to take us, kind of take us back down memory lane. 
And I want to go back to the first interview I've ever given you, almost because August 6th, this will be one year. August 6th, we would have been on the Internet one year. And I want to play, I want to play a little clip. I'm going to get right into the five questions. All right. Uh, I remember when you talked, you know, we had a lot of talks. One of our talks, you talked about uh, Dr. Moses Powell, you know, for example, seeing like a cat across the mat or he would, and then out of that cat running across the mat, he would see a technique in that movement or the mandador that came from seeing the bullfight. Can you elaborate on that? Yeah, uh, you know, uh, Dr. Powell was an innovator, you know, and he used to see things or he used to be around things, and when it went in the head and came out the other way, it came out different. So as far as the cat, we'd say we sit there in the dojo doing nothing, and the cat's running around. The cat runs across the mat. He says, okay, everybody get dressed. He said, get dressed. Yeah, everybody get dressed. He said, when the cat ran because of mad, I came up with something. Let me show you what I got. Mm. You know, uh, well, the man, if you see a bullfighter, everybody see the bullfighter with the little funny hat. That's right. Okay. If you see the, the, the movement of the bullfighter and you look at the, the, the block that he put together, you see it, it, it emulates the bullfighter. Yeah, so, Professor, you know, that, 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 that was something, and I noticed out of all the interviews that was done on Doc Radio, you was the only, the only master that ever commented on that, on that aspect of Dr. Powell. Uh, what, I mean, and Chief Professor, you could, you could comment at any time, too. Why do you think no one else has ever picked up that Doc was able, that he would look at nature, whether it was a cat or, or, or a bullfight, and from nature he would be able to extract, you know, extrapolate techniques? Because a lot of people come to Snoopy for a lot of different reasons, you know. But, you know, I was one person, you know, people say, well, ah, he walked funny, ah, he looked funny, ah, he can't do nothing. And when I came to the, the doc, doc said, don't worry about it. I got you. Don't worry about it. I got you to come, come train. Don't worry about it. So I, from the initial, I started out. Looking at Doc, uh, out of what he what he what what he what he brought to the table, you know, when I first met Doc, I was going to college, I was going to enter the community, and he was he was in the gym on the on the gym floor by himself. So I came I came downstairs looking to see whether the instructor the new instructor was there. And he was in the middle of the gym floor by himself, and he was moving around, and and I looked in in the window and said. Man, who's this little guy, this, this big guy here moving like that? So I you know, went inside and said, excuse me, who are you? He said, yeah, I'm going to be the new instructor before I take a, have a uh, class tonight. And from then on, I recognized that it was somebody, he was somebody special. He wanted the average martial artist. He wanted the average teacher. He wanted the average person. I realized he had something special. Well, yeah. You know, and this being an African-American, with something special, man, you know, that's to be uplifted, man. You have an African-American that is reached the heights. It's reached, you know, the, the, the right on the, on the hill. So I recognize in the beginning, man, that he wasn't just an average person. He was somebody special. And, and the thing he could do then is that he was young. He was like 27, 28. He was young. And the stuff, the stuff he did, you thought he was one of them gymnasts in the Olympics or somebody. The stuff he was doing was just had your mouth open, like you were all. I know, yeah, I know you do that. So it's, you know, is is how you started, and what do you see out of out of what he did when you first started, and you were first in this year uh, introduced to it. What were you looking for? What do you see? And yes, I sir. see something special. Chief Professor, before you uh, go into your show, and I'm sorry for taking up some of your time, but I just want to play one other clip from an interview with Doc. It's about a it's about a minute, and and I wanted to clear up something for myself because with the interviews, a lot of people said that Doc left in 1978, 1979. That that's kind of like been like the, the the framework I had. He went down to Florida, went to Georgia. From Georgia, came back to New York around 91, 92. But I want to just play this clip, and then I'm going to ask you the question. Just give me one second. Okay. Hold on. 
my pleasure to be standing next to a martial art legend who has been sent from us here in New York for a little while. And we're so happy to have him back, the Moses Powell, back. Thank you very much. I've been going about 20 years, 19, 20 years, and um, I've been back home for a year now. And I'm presently teaching at the... Uh... I'm going to start right there. He said he's been gone about 19, 20 years. That interview was done in 1991. So if he was gone about 19, 20 years, I mean, wouldn't that mean that he would have left New York in 1971, 1972, not 78, That's 79? That's correct. So, so can you expound on that? Because, 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 I'm, because, because again, you know, I mean, I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an engineer by trade, so I, I'm conditioned to have a very analytical mind. So, 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 so when I analyze these interviews, everybody seems to have always been saying 78, 79, and everyone has been saying that that's been saying that they've been training with him since the early seventies. But if he was gone since uh, seventy one, seventy two, like wh where am I wrong? Was he there in seventy two and he was going back and forth, or, or, or was he not there in seventy one, seventy two? No, he was on world tour. He went on world tour. He is the only martial artist in the world that that, that the martial arts took him around the world seven times, and he ain't had to pay a dime. All he had to do was do what he did, and they were more than glad to bring him over, okay? In the process of doing this world tour, he was also gathering knowledge. Because, wow. if you understand it, he studied under Professor V for 20 years, and he, and he lets us know that in his monologue, he studied up under Professor V for 20 years. That means from the age of 14 until he reached the age of, let's say, about five, mid-20s, that's all he did. He didn't have no job. That was his job. He worked for Mr. V. He worked for Mr. V, teaching Mr. V's classes. Whether, even, even though Mr. Mr. V had accomplished black belts on his floor, they took uh, resentment for the fact that, that uh, Professor V delegated Dr. Powell to, to teach them, but you ain't got no nickel in that quarter if you want this knowledge. Because none of them had the wherewithal to retain the knowledge and be able to do the, the, the information, to put the information out as it was structured and as he, as he asked for it. He showed it to him from the front to the back. And when he got ready to go ahead and do his thing, before he got ready to do his thing, he had to show Mr. V his thing from the front to the back and from the back to the front. So, uh, Professor, let me ask you. So, if he was on World Tour from, you was there during those times, from, from 1970. Okay, I'm saying something. You have to understand when Doc say things. Right? He didn't mean in that that he was not in New York City since 71, meaning he wouldn't run around someplace and he never came back to the New York City since 1991. That ain't what he talked about. That's the end. What are you talking about? Because when I first met him in '69, I was in college. In 1970, that's when I came to five to four around the gallery. You see, visit me every day. He's around. So when he says things, you 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 uh, a lot of times you have to you just can't accept what he say just because he said it. You got to read into what is he really saying. You know what is he really talking about? Yes, he ran around the world. He ran all over the place. He, 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 in other words, he was in school, and then he disappeared for a while, and he ran around, and he came back again, and he, he was in school, and then he ran around, and he came back again, and he did that throughout the 70s, and then he disappeared again. He ran to Florida, and he ran to Georgia, and he ran to Washington, D.C., and he ran to England to teach the English police, and he ran to Chicago, and then he popped in New York City every once in a while, and he ran back again. Then in the early 90s, popped into New York City, stayed there for a minute, hot minute. From 91 to like 96, 95, 96, 97, he stayed in basically in New York City. So when he said that, he's not talking about, you know, I moved to, to France, and I lived in France for 13 years. He ain't doing that kind of I wasn't here. Well, let me ask you this. So, 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 so from, so from, uh, let's say from 71 to 78, during that, during that time frame, 
uh, how many, how many, I mean, what, I mean, what, 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 what he, what he lit with, I mean, how often was he teaching at, uh, at 554 Atlantic? He was teaching, um, uh, most of the time. And, and, and when, and when he would go, how long would he stay away from the dojo? I don't know. Long he, he'd go for, you know, what we, you know, we going to have, uh, four or five days, two weeks, whatever, he disappeared. And, you know, then, you know, have people, you have people that, they like you know, Pedrito or somebody, and they would teach, and they'd pop back in again. He'd stay for a while. Then somebody tell me, they'd find him somewhere, and he'd disappear again, he'd disappear, and he'd come back. But his headquarters was probably going out of Galveston. All right. Okay, Chief Professor, I'm going to bow out. I'm going to take over your show. And please, I apologize again. No problem, no problem. Uh, um, tonight is the night. Um... For those who I might have, may have offended, I shall eat. Okay. Now, on another note, those individuals who are on the master's level understand something. The bar don't come down to you. You got to reach for the bar. So here it is. Fan block, rolling forearm block. Rolling rising block, over and under. Head throw. Figure it out. Is it heel to toe or toe to toe? Fan block, rolling rising, or rolling block, rolling rising block, over and under. Uh, underarm, reach the opposite side lapel. Close arm, reach the opposite, the, the close side of the lapel. Head throw. Fan block, disappear. Forearm punch over the shoulder from the rear. Fan block. Stepping into iron broom. Those applications exist within this intellectual creation. Those applications are a part of the structure of what it is that we do. As the professor was saying earlier, our unity is in the fact that we, we have an interest in this intellectual creation. And the only thing that sets us apart in this intellectual creation is our endeavorment in it and our perfection of whatever it is that we are pursuing in that. Do I need to make that clearer? Anyway, fan block, thumb to the tricep. Reverse punch, hammer fist, kidney, shotgun, fan block, MP cross, palm across, hit him up, wedge, fan block. Now I'm gonna use, I'm, I'm making it real simple, so even so even an underbelt can get it, but this is what you masters and above. And, oh, excuse me, let's make the next one. Matador. Matador turn. Backhand. Cutting punch across the chin down. Fan block. MP to the side of the neck. Rolling block. Wedge. Wedge. Fan block. MP. Head roll. Inside major reap, fly and roll out. Make it happen. Do you have the idea? Do you have the motivation? Make no mistake. Now, we want <coughs> those individuals who are sincere and really want this intellectual creation to come out and, and, and learn it, not to come out with reservations about what you don't want to be done to you, how you don't want to be touched, or, or, or where you don't want to be touched, because then you don't want it. <laughs> you got to go at this like a baby want a titty, and nothing less will do. If you expect to come out this <laughs> done.
Anyway, Matador Shoulder, forward roll. Ride with him. Hit him up. MP down on the collarbone. Block the kidney. Thumb to the neck. Wedge. Fan block scissor. Hit him up. Double palm to the face and the back of the head simultaneously. Excuse me. <clears throat> Get gas. Personal technique for elevator or hallway. The person step up. When they step up, you hit them with that leg trap. You hit them with that leg trap, push that knee, push that knee out, palm across the chin down. Disarmament. An individual standing in front of you. And he about to reach and pull out his piece. Backhand to the thumb. Rolling palm heel to the forehead. Gonna make him short. Wedge. Disarmament. Man comes at you with a knife. Takes two swings. One, you let him in. Two, you close the space. Disarmament. The finish is on you. All I gave you was the entry. All he gave us was the entry. He allowed us to go ahead and make the ending any kind of way that we wanted to. All right? But in any kind of way it goes, all we are saying that we are, it should be a point that individuals within this intellectual creation are able to start a technique in Sanukis and end it in Sanukis not having to go to any other martial disciplines in, in existence other than the one that you are endeavoring in right now. Because, yes, individuals come to Sanukas with duplicit motives. One of their main motives is to go back to wherever they came better than when they left. But they're not going to give credit where credit is due that, yeah, you know what, if it wasn't for that Sanuka stuff, I would not be sharper in learning how to strike. If it wasn't for that Sanuka stuff, I wouldn't be able to uh, be in the right place to make this kick. If it wasn't for that, for, for that Sanuka stuff, I'd still be trying to lift up a guy that weighed 300 pounds. For what? You, we, it Chief teaches professor, us about... Yes, sir. Chief Professor, not to cut, not to cut you off, sir. We've got three callers on the line. Um, I, I want to... And, 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 and as of August, I'm definitely personally going to make sure that this show... You know, I, I got, you know, these, these phones got to start ringing off the hook. So that's something that's been one of my personal uh, agendas. Uh, let me see. Uh, 5171, you're on, you're on the air. 5171, last four digits of your number. Okay. Uh, last four digits of your number, 9213, you're on the air. Nine two one three, you're on the air. Four four zero one four, you're on the air. Are they cute in, sir? Yeah, they are. Oh, they just want to listen. Yeah, they want to. Yeah, I guess they just listen. Yeah, yeah, I guess they just listen. Go ahead, Chief Professor. Back to you. Okay. Slip, cut him down. Double punch to the six and seven vertebrae. Pull out that leg. Slip, cut him down. End it however you want to. Fan block. Cobra strike to the carotid triangle. He would uh, jack his arm off your shoulder into the throw. Knife attack. Double swing. Stepping without moving and moving without stepping. Slap. Roll out. 
How do you land on concrete from a flying rollout? This is an integral part of this intellectual creation. So no matter which surface that you are on, it is no different than when you were on the mat. You've got to make that concrete uh, your friend. You've got to make that, 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 wet, that wet grass your friend. You've got to make that gravel your friend. You've got to make that sand your friend. So it don't matter whatever topography that you wind up on, what you have endeavored in will come about when you need it, not where, no, I need to go get on, get on the, fl the flat surface for me to order to defend myself. You're in a, um, the man throws a punch. You slide to him, hit him with the thumb in the midsection, hit him with the thumb in the, in the midsection. As you hit him with the thumb in the midsection, elbow to the side of the neck, head roll, and then back roll. When you back roll, double kick him in the face. You are dealing with the person, and you set, and his, and his friend come in. You back kick him, and then do jump back break fall on him, and come on up. So, again, this is about survival. This is not about reservation. This is not about you uh, 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 not wanting to do whatever it takes to get home. You must do whatever is necessary to get home because this ain't about no sport. This is not about no trophy. Uh, from the house to the car, from the car to your job, to your store, to your home. This has to be with you 24-7. And if a, if a person that's involved in this intellectual creation is not endeavoring in, in, in this at least several hours a day, even if they're not physically involved in it, their mind is mentally tasked with uh, applications, angles, entries, positions, so that, again, the longer you stay away from it, the harder it is to, re to get back to where you were. The more you immerse yourself in it, then the answers come to you. We were given an assignment one day, and I was told to, to make sure that Professor Rockman get the material. Anyway, so when he came over, I showed him, showed him the footage, gave him whatever logistics that he needed to, to know, and then he asked me a question. So I answered the question simply by this. Where do you want that person to be at the end of whatever it is that you're doing? If you don't have any idea of where it is that person is going to be or where you want them to be, then you've got to start all over again. But I'll tell you what you do. You take your butt on over in that corner and work it out till you get it. As a matter of fact, I got students over there, so you can use them for all I care, but take your butt on over there and do what you got to do. Because I got a little butt, and he chopped that off every day. You're going to be responsible for you, and I'm going to be responsible for me. So the Professor looked at me and said, well, but Professor, your students, they're not doing that. I said, Professor, look, those are my students. Those ain't his students. Those are my students. So there's a different, not, not so much as a different protocol, but their development, I have to set the pace for their development, even, even if some learn on, on a faster scale, I still have to set the pace of the material that they are being, that's being disseminated to them, as well as them being able to digest it and then be able to do it and then transfer that information to the next person. So six months from now, 12 months from now, even if they're doing variations of a technique, they still can get back to the root application. So, the, so again, Sanukis is basically basic movements. Those basic movements you perfect on a, on a beginner's level, on an intermediate level, and on an advanced level. The only thing that broadens is your understanding and your ability to use that information at will. Hopefully, one made the decision that this is what they really want to do. You cannot straddle the fence. Either you're going to do this or you're not going to do this. And sooner or later, the general public and the martial art world will be able to disseminate for themselves what is, what, 
they may call true Sanukis, and what is the imitation? Because it's often imitated, but it ain't never been duplicated. Chief uh, Professor, I have a question. Yes, sir. Um, well, first of all, Doc, Doc, you know, Doc Rager is very proud to have Chief Professor uh, 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 Shem Yehuda Shem Prince and, and Professor Yusuf Bachman on his network. I mean, you know, we we definitely, I mean, we, we you know, we 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 support and we're behind him 100%. And 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 one thing that uh, you know, you know, the, you know, tapes don't lie. People lie. Tapes don't lie. You know what I'm saying? Evidence don't lie. And and I got a question. Those 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 fighting concept tapes that was on the, that that we saw all over the place that that was made in like ninety one, ninety two, ninety three around that time in the nineties. Um, the rank that you had on, wasn't you? I mean, like over twenty something years ago, wasn't your rank like a, a what 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 was your rank when you was in that tape? Okay, in I'm gonna ask that question for two parts. We got to work around, right? Uh, I seen him with a belt on. I see nowhere. I never, in fact, I never seen that belt before. I said, uh, well, so one day it was just me, Doc, and, and Grandmaster Shen. Uh, I said, uh, uh, hey, Professor. I said, uh, uh, um, what, what is that belt? It was a white and, a, a white and, and red belt. I said, I never seen that belt before. I said, what is that belt? He says, that's a professor, seventh degree. I said, uh, he said, yeah, I, I got that in 1987. Oh. So he was a seventh degree in 87. What? And uh, some of our colleagues was a third degree, fourth degree. Uh, most of them like, some of them like a Shion, third, fourth degree. He was a seventh degree, but we got to work a lot. Is there a reason why you asked that question? Yeah, because the thing is, is that the chief professor was a was a professor before he was a grandmaster twenty five years ago. Twenty, think about that. A quarter of a century ago, he was already a professor. He was already a professor, and that was twenty five years ago. So it wasn't like he was a professor, you know. Five years ago or seven years ago, no, this a quarter of a century ago, he was a great professor. So what I'm saying is that look at the wealth of knowledge that Doc Radio is bringing the public. This is this is what I'm trying to say. Look at the wealth. I mean, this is authentic wealth of knowledge. I mean, this is like a, this is like a, I mean, just uncut, man. There, there's no, I mean, we just giving it to you pure, no cut on this, pure authentic knowledge. And that and that's what I wanted to get documented on tape is the fact that we have a show, we have a master that 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 Insa Nukas twenty five years ago was already a professor, and this man and 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 Professor Yusuf Rahman who 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 who's, who's also been in Sanukas since the since the uh, the early seventies. This is the value of knowledge that we bring to the show, and this is why I'm personally going to work to get these phone calls ringing off the hook because it don't make sense to have all this knowledge on this radio show. And, and, and you know, and this stuff is not ringing. But but trust me, in a few, few more weeks, all this is going to change. And 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 I, and I guarantee you, I, I will get more callers on this show. But that that had you, Professor. I just wanted to get that out there. <laughs> well, okay, thank you, sir. Uh, the other the other part of that is that you know, when you decide, when an individual decides that they're going to to study any discipline, they cannot go into the study of that discipline with reservations. My wife, the dog, the cat, the rat. Either you're going to commit to it or you're not. Well, when Dr. Powell made that offer to me to um, do fighting concepts with him and also go go into remedial studies, that was a win-win situation. My master had already passed away, and he had already said from years before, if your master, if your teacher's teacher is still alive, then you owe it to him to pay him the right and get that knowledge, as opposed to, well, uh, 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 no, uh, oh, they hit too hard, or they, or, 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 they touch you down. Well, wait a minute. Did, did, did you come into martial arts to play with doll babies? Did you come into martial arts to make mud pies? Or did you come into martial arts to learn, 
to learn a discipline and an and art and a, and a means of protecting yourself and your family. With the, with, there is no married man or anyone with a family that should go and not know how to protect themselves or at least make sure that your family know how to protect themselves so that when you are away, that you know that uh, little Johnny will be able to get back home. Your wife ain't going to have to be out there uh, wallowing around in the street because someone wants to, uh, to abuse a child or, or something like that, or, or the bullies on, on the corner, they decide that they want to chase him, chase him in the street every time he come outside the house. This is also economic empowerment. I'm going to say this. Martial arts for in, in the black community is a homegrown business. What do I mean by that? There was no um, directions on how to open up a martial arts school in the black community. That is something that one has to have within them and a the desire that they want to fulfill. And nothing that you do to that individual will deter them or change their mind about what it is that they want to do and what it is that they have committed themselves to. It's just like being married to a woman. She wants her time, and after you give her her time, then she'll, then she'll make way for you to go ahead and do your thing. Yes, I did what, I, don't, I don't make no excuses for who and what I am, and, I make no, and I'm not telling nobody I'm nobody's uh, altar boy or no prayer. Uh, uh, no. Coming up, I studied martial arts the same way I do now as I did then, with the same commitment. Those are the individuals that we are seeking to perpetuate Dr. Powell's legacy. Those are the individuals 50 years from now that's going to make sure that this intellectual creation is still here. And with that, there may be a possibility of another Moses Powell coming about because the seeds are being sown for the purposes of that. We, we don't have to love each other, but that with, this, with a memo of agreement and a memo of understanding that we're going to come together and do this, and when it's over, we're going to go our separate ways, then there ain't no more to say. I didn't come here in the martial arts to like nobody. I came in the martial arts for economic empowerment, and I knew when I was a young child what I was going to be doing the rest of my life. And for wannabes to call themselves uh, 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 throwing dirt on that, I got a problem with that. I, I have Professor Rockman um, review some of the blog talks that are going on so that we can um, clear things up. That, you know, individuals said that Dr. Powell was a hard person to get along with because of the pressure that he put on people. Well, Yes, because he wanted it done right. He didn't want you representing him like he was a like he was a bowl of sauerkraut, looking all raggedy and stringy. All right, he wanted you to represent him correctly, as well as to be able to protect yourself properly. But now it's been misrepresented and and, and, and changed the face and changed the name, and, and uh, we can't change something that we had nothing to do with. All we can do is try to keep to uh, strengthen the standards or, or make the standards more stringent so that way we can assure the perpetuation of this, this legacy. It's not a gift. The legacy of Dr. Moses Powell is not money. It's knowledge. It's knowledge of, and of protection of yourself and family. That and nothing else. It ain't about no memorabilia. It ain't about no hats. <laughs> it ain't about no pens. Those are those are, are things to help cut the cost of expenses. Because as an instructor, you'll find out that let's say you have five students. You're then that's all the, the revenue that you're going to pull in for the month is whatever you charge those five students. And so you have a facility. That facility has to be paid, 
The rent on that facility you have to be paid for as well as the utilities. And if you're living someplace else, you also got to pay rent for where you live at. So, yes, it cuts down the cost, but students are required to bring in new members. But they also are required to screen those members so they don't bring in the, the undesirables. They'll, those are our, this is our duty. This is our obligation. We got individuals who ain't never met Funakoshi in their life. They don't even know whether or not if he was one of them black Japanese or if he was one of the, one of the, uh, 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 um, the ones that look like they, they have Caucasian and in, 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 in somewhat. Any kind of way it go, they still hold the standards of what that, into, that, what that discipline is about. So why is it so hard for the students of Sanukas to understand that and do that? It ain't about us loving each other. It's about us doing what we supposed to, what we say that we supposed to be doing. Uh, uh, I, Grand Master. Yes, sir. Um. Uh, can I detect something? Yes, sir. Uh, you said earlier a thing about the bar. Is a bar. Yes, sir. And. Uh, and this is basically for the, the people on the massive level. Every time that you go up in the rank, the bar changes. And the bar meaning the responsibility to go along with the rank, whether it's the responsibility to be able to impart what you have to others, whether it's the responsibility to uh, be able to take what you have and 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 and, 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 and improve her in the way of having them uh, 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 different ways of looking at the same thing, but you have a bar, and the higher you go up, the greater the bar. So yes, now you say that you're a professor, you're a grand master. Now the bar doesn't only say that. Well, what I learned is, can I take what I have? Can I take the knowledge? Can I take the application and take a person off the street? And it's part of him where in time he becomes able to understand and understand this knowledge and yes, become sir. efficient. Yes, sir. So I see a lot of a lot of people say, Well, you know, uh I'm I'm a I'm a I'm a master, I'm a grand master. But when you take the concept and ask them to apply it and show the application, then they run into problems. So that means that you have to reach a bar. The bar doesn't come down to you. The responsibility don't come down to you. You got to come on to the responsibility. Yes, sir. There's no getting around it. When and the I model was... is most of the power. Yes, sir. Before the model, the model of the bar is him. Before, then, and now. He is the model. He is the reference point. He is, he is the material content in which we study. He is the motivation. Now, what, what, what subject that we choose from that, that could vary, yes, within what, what Fuquan called the schools of Moses Powell, yes. We, all the masters would have the option of going ahead and teaching, teaching the regiment as far as they were concerned, but so long as it stayed within the standards and the structure of what the model has set, then there ain't no problem. At the point that when you start putting things in it that don't belong, and he constantly reminds us, don't put nothing there that's not there. Be where you're supposed to be when you're supposed to be there. Most of this intellectual creation is about timing, timing. So if you're going at this nonchalant, then you're going to find yourself going home with a lot of black eyes or either very uh, uh, disenchanted or just give up altogether because you thought it was going to be a cakewalk. No, it's not going to be a cakewalk. It's going to be no different than a child learning how to walk. It's like one day Dr. Powell was telling me about when he grew up, when he grew up or rather when he, when he was born. He said that he didn't walk when he was a child. He started running, and as long as he ran, he didn't fall down 
But when he tried to walk, <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm like, well, were your feet too big or something like that? <laughs> well, you know, but hey. <laughs> but, again, that's showing you there was something unique about this person. And the Creator endowed every one of us with a gift. And no one can take that gift away from you, all right? And we, as we, as we grow, we may expand on that gift that was given to us, or we may decide to add more to what we have. There's nothing wrong with that. What is wrong is when we start diminishing the truth or trying to hide the truth or pumping, out, pumping ourselves up because this intellectual creation, it ain't about us. It ain't, it, it ain't about my monkey ass. It's about Moses Powell and Sanuka's root. 99.9% 99. this intellectual creation. Because this ain't a movement, and he said it himself. This ain't no movement. We come into, we come into Moses Powell because, hey, you know what? He is a phenomenon in the martial arts world. And he, get, and he freed us from the chains, and most of them want to go back. Well, hey, you know what? Uh, 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 the brother Fuquan put up uh, uh, um, the allegory of the cave not too long ago. Well, I don't think they really get, got a true grasp of what that what that means as far as this is concerned. Well, when we do eye to eye and heart to heart, that should be a solemn commitment of you respecting one man as he respects you. When he introduced us to that concept, he told us that if the person that we were in front of could not keep a straight face or whatever have you, move to another partner. And perhaps that individual will get a grasp of it later on. Our intentionality will determine what we take away from the table. He said to us, I set before you a banquet table. Don't eat till you get full. Eat till you are satisfied. But you have those individuals who want to try and grab it all, and then they walk away with nothing. That's, that's been most of the people who have participated in seminars over the last several years. They have walked away with nothing. Well, the general public has become dissatisfied with that. They want more for their for they dollar. They want a program that's going to bring them closer than where they were when they walked in the door. And if you're not prepared to do that, then step out the way. If you are a martial artist, then there should be no level of mentality that you cannot teach, whether it be child, adolescent, uh, uh, young adult, and adult, the senior citizen, uh, 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 the handicapped, the blind, the cripple, because they are attacked too. So unless you were able to put yourself in those situations or in that circumstances, then how are you going to help that, that individual help themselves? You got, when the big hand guy was here, he would never charge anyone that participated in any, in any workshop or seminar more than $35. But now you have individuals who want $95, $150, $250. And and it's chewed up grass and swamp water. And it ain't none of it what they had on the marquee. Ain't none of it what they had on the program. Ain't none of it what it it was advertised on the flyer. Come on, man. People say that Sanukas was united when Dr. Powell was alive. They are damn lie. Because if that was the truth, then he would have never did the Long Beach interview. He would have never said, if it wasn't for Moses Powell, wouldn't be no so-and-so. If it wasn't for Moses Powell, it wouldn't be no so-and-so. If it wasn't for Moses Powell, wouldn't nobody know about no so-and-so. And that is the truth. So come on, man. Let's, let's stop the games. Either we're going to do this, or we're not going to do it. If you're not going to do it, get out the way. Just get out of the way and, and let what's supposed to happen happen.
But don't put no uh, stumbling blocks before the blind. Give them what they what you advertise and what they paid their money for. That way, even if even if you have to deal with them on the level that they learn at, then so be it. Let's say that that you want, you have a ten week course, and it takes them three weeks to get what's in the first week. Then so be it. But at least you'll know when they finish, they have what they're supposed to have, so that when they're in front of their primaries, whoever they may be, and uh, Cobra White is asked for, or Cobra Knuckle, or Reverse Cobra Knuckle, or uh, Forearm Punch, or Palm Across, uh, or, or any of any of the blocking drills are asked for, they're able to do it and not standing there scratching their head and their butt, wondering like now, 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 how does that go? Either you want this or you don't want this. I don't. I don't know nothing else. I don't. I don't know how to do any of that other stuff. It's, it is our hope that Doc Radio uh, reaches the masses and gives them a vehicle to go ahead and get to what what it is that they're actually looking for. It is also. <laughs> it, is, it is also our hope that Doc Radio can draw sincere disciples to the schools of Moses Powell, wherever they may be in the world. The, okay, let's go on. Sam Block, forearm, bump, forward foot sweep, stomp, Block, punch, sweep, stomp. Those are the movements of Moses Powell. <laughs> uh, people talk about they have ele- they have evolved. Okay, what have you evolved in? Have you evolved in, in, in the Sanuka stage? Then, then, then show us. Don't talk about it. Show it because it, now it's time. It's, it's time for the talk to be done with, and it's time for the manifestation of that endeavorment. Oh, uh, Grand Master, you have six minutes. Yes, sir. Hey, Grand Master, yes. I you got six minutes. You know, not to cut you off, sir, but you gave me an idea. I think in yes, about sir. two months, we're going to put a section up on Doc Radio called 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 the uh, called called Sanuka's Evolution, and and anybody that feels they have evolved Doc's creation, they can they can become a member and upload their clips and let and let the audience look at their evolution, and then let us give comments <laughs> on evolution. That's cold. That's cold. <laughs> <laughs> boy, I got that book on, boy. Hey, hey, sir, I, I hope there ain't no one, two, three, four, because that big guy said, I don't do no one, two. I do one. Hey, hey, uh, hey Chief of Press, I got some software laying around. It's a really piece of, it's a really cool piece of code. Like, this code will allow you to do a poll. You know how they do polls, like on Obama and Romney, to see, you know, you know the poll, you know, like a poll. So yes, I can, yes, you know, they, so, so, they, so they can upload their video, and I can put the poll up there, and we can just take a poll, and we can have A. Dr. Moses Powell, B. You know, Master X. You know, and then we just okay. poll, and and we we'll see, you know, have they evolved the system? Okay, I, I, I'd work with that because it, it would also have the, some of their lineage on there too, correct? So that way, you know, we can we can actually know that. All right, yeah, they have evolved. But wait a minute, they can't put, they can't even t- uh, chew chew bubble gum and walk. They talking about they evolved. But wait a minute, evolved on choking? But it's all good. Yes. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, I tell you, boy, you're mad my own heart. Boy, I tell you. <laughs> okay. Hey, we, we we got four more minutes. I'm gonna shut up and let you you know let let, let you finish out your show. We do got four more minutes left, though. So. I'll say it again. Remember in the past, those who foolishly sought power by riding the back of the tiger ended up inside, to the wall and back. Eye to eye, heart to heart, each one teach one. Us.